Well, we're into March, and that means, of course, parades and celebrations. But in addition to the parties, you're going to see a lot of political people attending those parades and events. So as March kicks off, we're talking to David Yonkai from the LULAC Political Letter, and he's going to talk just that, parades and politics. So how did the tradition of politics and St. Patrick's Day kind of start? Well, in 1862, a group of Irish soldiers... You're taking us back. I am, a <laughs> long way back, started the St. Patrick's Day Parade. It was the first St. Patrick's Day Parade of note in New York City, and that's 1862. And the thing is, what happened was, with the immigration of Irish people coming to America and the solidification of populations in cities, what happened was it became a tradition where politicians started to gather. Do you think it's, it's an effective method for them? Does this work for them? Oh, it's a crowd. I mean, politicians love a crowd. You put like 10 people together and, you know, they'll like dive to get into uh, talk to that group. So it's a very effective means of politicking for politicians, local, statewide, and national. Yeah, there's Barack Obama. Now, I know uh, a few years ago when President Clinton came to Gerardville in Schuylkill County. Right. That was the biggest deal ever. Now, ever was that for a St. Patrick's Day parade or, pa or, or event? Or it yeah. was. Yeah. I guess I don't think he was president at the time. Right. See, but still, we have a lot of candidates who actually will come to the area. We never had a sitting president come to our area, from at least from what I understand. And that was my next question. Um, yeah, we've never had a sitting president, but we had. But I hear rumors, and I could be totally off base, <laughs> but I understand that Vice President Biden. It may come to the Scranton area, but that's like unsubstantiated at this point. But this is what I'm hearing. Now, we uh, we had President Truman, former President Truman come in the 1950s. And one of the most significant events I think that we had in this area for a St. Patrick's Day dinner was in 1964, Robert Kennedy made his very first public appearance after the assassination of his brother, John Kennedy. And it was said that the response that he got in Scranton was so huge and so um, effective that he decided that he was going to carry on with a public career. Wow. Now, are politicians accessible? Can someone get their, like, photos with them? Yes, they can. Yeah. You could just walk up to a politician. You could say, hey, look. Um, and as a matter of fact, look at that guy. I had hair back in 1972. <laughs> in 1972, I nice. went to the St. Patrick's Day dinner with my uncle Timmy Perbola from Exeter. And we approached Hubert Humphrey, and I got my picture taken with Hubert Humphrey. And I believe that that's one of the reasons why I'm so into politics, just because of that influence of that type of thing. And I would urge people who have kids and nieces, relatives or whatever, to take them to an event like this. Take them to a parade because they'll be able to rub, um, um, you know, elbows with a celebrity or politician and maybe get an interest in it. Very cool. All right, David Yonkai, thank you so much for taking your time to be with us today on PA Live. It was great. Happy to be here. All right, Dave, what's coming up?